सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दिस सेशन सो दोज हैव नॉट सीन दोज आर न्यू टू दिस वीडियो एंड दोज हैव नॉट सीन माई फर्स्ट वीडियो सजेस्ट टू ऑल टू सी दैट फर्स्ट ओके वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द सब्जेक्ट कॉल एज डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वन कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल एज हिलबर्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड वन टेबल ऑफ हिलबर्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म पेयर विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दोज आर न्यू टू दिस वीडियो आई सजेस्ट यू टू प्लीज वॉच दैट वीडियो एंड देन वॉच दिस वीडियो एंड I am here to inform you that we have we have we have started with the fifth sem uh, sessions and uh, we would be regularly uploading the videos from now. And uh, those who are uh, new to this channel, please uh, stay updated to this channel and like this video because your uh, like and one like would be motivating us for to provide uh, more and more improved content. Okay, so we would be continuing with one more concept of this digital communication that is pre envelope. Okay, pre envelope. What is this pre envelope now? So now let's discuss about this pre envelope in brief. Pre envelope. Uh, before starting pre envelope, let us uh, summarize what we have studied it in uh, in a Hilbert transform in the last video. Hilbert transform. I have told you right uh, the phase reversal or the phase selectivity of between the two signals in order to uh, separate those two signals. The Hilbert transform is used, and in order to separate those two signals and uh, name them individually separately. Okay, the Hilbert transform pair is necessary, which I have discussed in that Hilbert transform pair table. Which and which and all are the Hilbert transform pairs? We have discussed it. So, using those Hilbert transform pairs, we need to be uh, organizing one term called as pre envelope. What is this pre envelope? Hilbert transform of a signal is defined for both positive and negative frequencies. Okay, since uh, the phase reversal takes place for both positive and negative frequencies, that is for plus ninety degree as well as minus ninety degree. in both the positive and negative axes the phase reversal would be taking place in clockwise as well as anti clockwise direction you might not be knowing in which direction it is taking the reversal of phase so it is uh, uh, defined for both positive as well as negative frequencies how to modify frequency content of a real valued signal g of t such that all negative frequency components are completely eliminated now this is the question here how to modify the frequency component because whenever the phase reversal takes place and whenever we have one fixed amplitude the frequency obtained from those signals won't be fixed okay that frequency would be varying the how to modify that frequency content of a real valued signal g of t now how to uh, control that frequency such that all the negative frequency components are completely eliminate, eliminated so now here our goal is to eliminate all the negative frequency components when we talk about eliminating the frequency components you would be keep you should be keeping in mind that to eliminate frequency components there is one circuit there is one term okay if you try to recall it that term it, it is called as envelope detector which we have studied in principles of communication systems please try to recall it because all these things are interconnected digital communication principles of this is the basics is only required for this subject of pcs which you have studied in fourth okay so please try to recall it envelope detector okay that is one circuit which you have studied it in pcs that envelope detector circuit is required to remove all the negative frequency components of a real valued signal in order to make it a stable signal okay let us consider complex valued signal called pre envelope of g of t defined by this is the way the pre envelope is defined that is g plus of t why we have written only g plus of t because we are considering only the positive frequencies and negative frequency components are completely eliminated using the circuit called as envelope detector g plus of t is equal to g of t plus j g cap of t this is called as hilbert transform which i have already discussed that is g cap of t is hilbert transform of the function g of t okay that is the real valued signal which we have considered here now according to this given signal g of t given signal g of t is the real part of the pre envelope and g plus of t and h of t that is hilbert transform of uh, uh, sir hilbert transform g cap of t is the imaginary part of the pre envelope that is you can see that this is the real part and this is the imaginary part of this pre envelope right g of t is the real part and g cap of t that is the hilbert transform of this g of t is the imaginary part now the important feature of this uh, pre envelope g plus of t is the behavior of its fourier transform okay in the first session Uh, i have recalled it about the sub concept called as fourier transform right so please try to recall it 
let g plus of f okay now we are representing this g plus uh, pre envelope in frequency domain okay considering the positive frequencies let g plus of f is equal to g of f plus s g n of f that is a uh, uh, s g n of f into g of f that is g plus of f is having three values that is it is two times of g of s whenever the frequency is greater than zero that is whenever the frequency is positive it is a g of zero when frequency is equal to zero and it is zero when frequency is less than zero because we know that all the negative components frequency components are eliminated so it would be completely nullified okay so this is g plus of n in uh, different uh, cases now to determine g plus of t that is pre envelope in the time domain of the given signal g of t time domain procedure okay that is g plus of t is equal to g of t plus j into g cap n of t okay this is the uh, det determination of g plus of t in time domain this is the formula you should be keeping in mind okay now frequency domain procedure now this is a very interesting part here frequency domain procedure first we need to find the fourier transform ft of g of f of signal g of t then we should be finding the g plus of f in frequency domain okay is equal to g of f plus s g n of f into g of f finally get the inverse fourier transform of this g plus of f that is g plus of t is equal to 2 times of 0 to infinity since the limits here are from minus infinity to infinity we know that we can even write this minus infinity to infinity as 2 times of 0 to infinity okay since all the negative frequency components are eliminated so that's why if we consider this uh, line here of uh, this is minus infinity and this is plus infinity and this is zero all these negative components are eliminated and this all these components here would be shifted to the positive side so if we shift this minus infinity to zero to this side this would be two times of zero to infinity so that's why you are representing it as g plus of t plus stands for all the positive frequency components two times of zero to infinity g of f e power j 2 pi f t d f i have written it as e x p because in the textbook it is given as e x p so that's why i have written it you can even write this as e power j 2 pi f t this is one and the same e x p of j 2 pi f t or e power j 2 pi f t d f okay yeah so now let's discuss about the pre envelope of the negative frequency when the free negative frequencies are not eliminated and kept at as it is okay what what and all are the changes here in the pre envelope pre envelope of negative frequency that is g minus of t is equal to g of t minus j g cap of t two pre envelopes g plus of t and g minus of t are complex conjugates of each other this relation you should be keeping in mind because if you know this relation the problems or the theoretical part you, you, you can uh, uh, easily remember that is two pre envelopes g plus of t whenever we eliminate the negative frequency components and g minus of t whenever we eliminate the positive frequency component or we can consider both positive and negatives uh, at the same time are complex conjugates of each other that is g plus of t is equal to g, star, g minus of t is equal to g star plus of t that is g minus of f it is complex conjugate so whenever frequencies are greater than zero or frequencies are positive it is zero because when we consider the negative frequency all the positive frequencies are eliminated it is zero when frequency equal to zero this is g of zero and whenever the frequency is less than zero or frequency is negative it is two times of g of f okay now note this one point here the spectral content of a fourier transformable real valued signal for positive frequencies uniquely defines the signal the spectral content means the uh, what to say the signal uh, variation the variation in the signal okay uh, in the frequency domain as well as time domain of a Fourier transformable real value signal for all positive frequencies are uni uniquely defines the signal that is uh, whenever we eliminate all the negative frequencies and when we keep only the positive frequencies in a signal the signal is said to be in a completely stable state without any formation of errors and uh, the signal would be in a smooth fa fashion so this was all about this pre envelope which i have discussed in brief here okay so please pause the video and refer it in brief i have discussed pre envelope how it is related to the Hilbert transform, how to modify the frequency content by eliminating the negative frequency and keeping the positive frequency and how the how is how, how it is the relationship between the frequency component and uh, 
pre envelope and uh, how it is uh, behaving behaving if we consider the fourier transformable and to determine the pre envelope in time domain as well as frequency domain all of them we have discussed so now let's discuss one more important concept of pre envelope of low pass signals okay pre envelope of low pass signals so now what are these pre envelope in low pass signals low pass signals means if uh, if we consider this low pass signals or we can even call it as low pass filter circuits so what are this low pass filter circuits low pass filter circuits you please try to recall it uh, and uh, if you know about this before i tell you you should be commenting down and you should be telling what are these low pass filter circuits if you are uh, thoroughly watching our video so please try to uh, comment and uh, tell us what are low low pass filter circuits so that i would be knowing how much uh you know about the subject okay so please comment down about what is this low pass filter circuit but still i am going to tell you guys because uh, it's my job to tell you to make you easier low pass filter circuits means eliminating all the high frequency components and keeping all the low frequency components in a particular system to in order to behave it as a stable system that is about low pass filter circuits similarly we are discussing about pre envelope of low pass signals that is all the lower frequency components using those lower frequency components how the signal is said to be in stable state that is these are the two spectrum of pre envelope of g plus of t that is whenever the negative frequencies are nullified and it is eliminated see you can see here okay this is for g plus of t and this is for g minus of t here okay uh, these are two are the spectrum what and all i have explained right till now you can see through this diagram here now note use of phasers simplifies manipulations of alternating currents and voltages in circuit theory pre envelope simplifies the analysis of band pass signals and band pass system in the signal theory hilbert transform plays a key role in the formulation of modulated signal and demodulation okay that is use of phasers simplifies the manipulation for alternating currents and voltages in circuit theory that is the phase reversal or the phase change taken in a particular circuit would be affecting the currents and voltages of that particular circuit in a, a huge way because whenever we do any phase shift of any signal the random signal if you take a random signal and if you do its phase shift the currents and voltages would be varying instantaneously according to time to time so we don't have a control over it okay that is in circuit theory so now let's discuss about digital theory that is field theory field theory we have already discussed in electromagnetic theory in fourth sem uh, electromagnetic theory if you try to recall that subject in that electromagnetic theory what we have discussed is about the field theory where we have discussed the uh, analysis of circuit part with respect to the changes in currents and voltages in uh, what to say separately if we keep separate current and separate voltage how the circuit behaves and we have studied it in a in a, a brief way in in similarly pre envelope uh, simplifies the analysis of band pass signals pre envelopes because how it simplifies the analysis of band pass signals is because in band pass signals we are considering both positive and negative frequencies at the same time if in case of pre envelopes it is not possible to consider uh, it is not uh, possible to consider both positive and negative frequencies at the same time so in order to eliminate one positive or negative frequencies these pre envelopes are used and if you eliminate one kind of frequencies either positive or negative all the analysis of band pass signals would be in a smooth manner and band pass system is in signal theory hilbert transform plays a key role in the formulation of modulated signal and demodulation since hilbert transform uh, is a uh, plays a key role because in a modulated signal the amplitude okay the amplitude would be shifting and the amplitude won't be remaining the same and demodulated signal uh, after obtaining the modulated signal in order to bring it back to the demodulated form this hilbert transform the in inverse hilbert transform plays a key role so this uh, note here i have uh, tried to explain it to you all so please you make a note of this similarly i have some uh, notes for complex envelope of band pass signal which is not so important but still if you want you can note it down here this is the magnetic spectrum of band pass signal of s of t where i have considered 2w uh, and uh, we have considered this frequency spectrum this is the magnetic spectrum of pre envelope s plus of t okay when we are where we have considered only the positive frequency components here okay and this is the magnetic spectrum of complex envelope that is a complex envelope here it is uh, denoted as s uh, 
uh, what to say this is the cap uh, symbol of complex envelope so this is one note here in communication the bandwidth bandwidth 2w uh, the bandwidth 2w is small when compared to fc therefore s of t is referred to as narrow band signal okay and let the pre envelope of narrow band signal s of t be expressed in the form of s plus of t is equal to complex envelope s of t into e power j 2 pi fc t this is one more relation here okay so you should note it down so that's all for this session okay if you want you can note these points also so i have tried to explain the the in brief the concept of pre envelope okay by providing these notes so if you want you can pause the video and take these notes down in order to make you useful so i am going in i am going with a very low what to say uh, normal speed very uh, slow speed because i want you all to understand these uh, concepts very well because these concepts are very important if you know these concepts very well what and all are the theoretical uh, uh, what to say questions if it, it it arises in the exam you can write it in a smooth way so that's why so i'm going it in a very slow speed so that you would be understanding all the concepts very briefly so please uh, watch my videos from from this uh, what to say video i'm going to start uploading the videos regularly of this subject as well as uh, digital signal processing dsp i'm going to start in a few few moments so please uh, support our channel guys like share subscribe share this video to a huge number guys and make all everybody all the fifth sem students alert that we are back okay we are back and we are back with the uh, fifth sem videos so please uh, inform all the fifth sem students those who are those who were regular to this channel and they have left it so if you want to score good marks please refer our channel because in the fourth sem also what and all we have thought right what and all the concepts we have turned and what and all the important stuff passing packages we have given from that only most of the questions have come so please refer our channel guys share this channel to a huge number like share subscribe guys we'll see you in the next session thank you